Hi everyone, I'm Jen Allen, and today's workout is kickboxing drills with the BOSU. You'll need a little bit of space around the BOSU in all directions. A BOSU that has a real safe surface to be on. You could do these moves on the floor for sure. If you uh, if the moves become too intense or need to bring it to the floor or don't have a BOSU, they will work fine on the floor also. So let's get started. And remember to always work at your own fitness level. Take a deep breath in. Exhale down. Roll those shoulders. Shoulders up and back. Take a deep breath in. Reach up. Exhale down. Roll those shoulders up and back. Tap your feet forward, right, left. Tap, tap. As we work with the inner or the drills today, they will feel a little bit like intervals as we back off the drill and then pick up another drill. But we won't ever really stop. Reach forward. Reach up high here, reach. One arm at a time, reach it up. Circle that arm backwards. March it on the ground. March it on top. Keep those knees soft. Take it down, so just acclimate to being on top of the most to come up and march. Take it down and march for four. Take it up for four. Also with working with the BOSU, you want to make sure you have a real good, firm, tight shoe. Take it down and hold. Tap it. Circle arm back. Bring the arms into your chest. Jab forward, alternating arms, using the opposite arm as the leg that's tapping. Step up and down. So go from the up, up, down, down. Now you'll notice on the bow, so you can't be real bouncy. Stay low. Bring the arms in, jab forward with that opposite arm this leg. So if my right leg's stepping up, my left arm goes up. Two more. Bring it down to a jumping jack on the floor. Step up with the left foot. Up, up, down, down. So if the left foot's coming up, the right arm jab, jabs forward. Pull, pull. One more. Jumping jacks. Bringing the arms in. Step up, right foot, up and down. This time, instead of jabbing forward, upper, upper cut. Opposite arm is leg. Up, up. Jumping jacks. One more. Step up with your left foot this time. Upper cuts with the opposite arm as leg. Four more. One more. Jumping jacks should be nice and warm now. Four more right here. March it out, roll those shoulders. Place the right foot on top of the bullseye, so it's right on that center bullseye. Step back with the leg, soften the back knee, hands in. Drop into a lunge, lift, lunge. Do I really plant that front foot? Okay, let's add on. Lunge, then pull that back knee in. Pull. The next move of kickboxing is called a head strike. Pull. As if you're grabbing someone's head and pulling it and striking it to your knee. So forceful and strong. Pull. Pull. One more. Stay in the lunge and pull. Three, two, bring that back knee up. When you come up, really push down with that right foot. 
we're going to definitely work some balance work here. On the next one, that knee lift becomes a front kick. Now, still kind of warming up the legs, so ease into the kick. Now, let's get rid of those pulses. Lunge to kick. Lunge, kick, lunge, kick. Last one. Bring it down, little shuffle side to side. Plot the left foot now on top of the BOSU. Bring the right leg back. Make sure your foot is secure on top. Hands in, just lunges. Lunge to knee lift. Starting to add that head strike or that knee strike. Pull. Two more. Stay down in the pulses for three. Knee strike. Pulse. Knee strike. Again, this can be done on the floor. Start to add a kick instead of the knee and ease into that kick as you warm up the leg. Now, all single lunge to kick, no pulse, control. Last one. Good, bring it down to a shuffle. Placing the right foot on the bosu and the left leg off to the side. So with right foot on, hands come in. Push, 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 push. Coming out of the shoulder, jab. So even though I'm not necessarily stopping, there are some higher and lower intervals. Faster. Jab, jab, pound, pound. Eight, seven, down to four. Walk it out, walk around to the other side. Hands into center. Left foot on. Jab. Pick up the speed. Four, three, two, walk it off. Place the right foot on top, left foot off to the side, pretty close in. Arm center squat. Now on the way up, the leg that's on the floor comes up, so the left leg, pull, pull. Lifting the hip a little more, so it becomes more of a block, and pulling the elbow down across the side of the hip. Pull, back elbow, back elbow. One more, no block, just down, knee lift, planting the right foot twice as fast with the knee, so it's down, up. Start to add that back elbow and hip. Pull. Push now with that right leg. Four. Just squat. Squat. Watch your space. Squat knee block. Bring it more to a side kick or roundhouse kick, which circles a little more around. Four, three, two, last one. Good, march it out. Bring it off to the other side. Make sure you have plenty of room. Left foot on to squat. Squat, lift that right knee. So get used to pushing down with that left leg. Transition more to a block with a higher hip and an elbow. Back elbow. Pull. Pull. Go back to the knee. 
Now this is gonna get twice as fast. Get ready. Tap down that faster speed. Tap, pull. Plant that left leg. Add a block and an elbow. Go, eight. Four more. Slow it down. Just squat. Squat knee, squat block, squat side kick, or roundhouse kick. Make sure you're leaning off to the left side just enough. Three more. Two, one. March down. Good. Come to the back of your bosu. Deep breath in. Exhale. Roll the shoulders. Jump up, jump down, jump up, jump down. As you jump up, both elbows. So if somebody were to come behind you, hit. Now I'm stepping down or jumping down. Pull. You can step or jump. Back elbow. In a second, this is gonna get faster without the pauses. One more slow. Ready, jump. Jump, jump, elbow, elbow, elbow. One more. Ease out. Woo. Tap it. Keep easing out. Deep breaths. Deep breath in. Exhale. Bring your hands to the bosu. Soften your knees. Jump back. Jump forward. Jump on. Jump off. Hands down. So it's a burpee. Slow motion. Jab. When you're on top. When you come up on, some forward jabs. Speed it up. Back. In. Jab, 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 down. Jab, 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 down. Quick. One more time. Ease out. March it off. Roll the shoulders. How we doing? Remember, all of these drills can be done on the floor also. Get yourself on top. Just acclimate to being on top. Little heel lifts. Imagine a jump rope. Adding a little more bounce. So boxers do a lot of jump rope. Whew. A little more two feet jumps. Not high. Add a challenge if you like by adding a tuck. Tuck. Just jump, arms high. Roll the speed back, four, three, two, and one, take it off. March it out. Whew. Just even standing on the BOSU, especially as you become petite, can be a huge challenge. Stand up. Remember, everything can be done on the floor. So focus, balance, soft knees, jab forward, right, left. So jabs come right out from the shoulder, forward. Cross. It's a little more challenging, keep your knees soft. Slow hook, comes around, so you're gonna hit someone in the side of the head. Block the face, hope. Block the face. Uppercut, up. Up like you're gonna hit someone right in the belly. Hands to center, twist. So that's defensive position, but kickboxing for me is about fitness. If you had to defend yourself, it's because you're fit, strong. Whew. Take a higher right speed back, other side left, right. Left, center no arms. 
start to pick up a little march, but speeds up. Speed bags down here, pound the speed bag. Tighten up the triceps, turn the palms up, jab. Fast legs, fast jabs. Quick reaction time and speed training. Four, three, two, one, step off. Good. Make sure you have a little bit of room behind you. Place your hands on the bow suit. Step back just a little. So I'm not in a plank. I'm in what's called quadruped position. As I push off the bow suit, keep your knees bent, push up and fall into the bow suit. Now I don't care if you're with me on timing here. If you pause for a second and fall. But when you're up, add some fast jabs before you come down. Stop, jump back, jump forward to the quad root, fall into it. So we're just adding the jump back. It can be faster. When I come up, my knees are bent. So that is a very intense position. Woo, fall in one more. Relax, stand up. Shake off the legs. March into a wide position and step. So you're straddling the bow suit. Bring your hands to the fencing. Soft knees, right hook, left uppercut. Right hook, left upper. Right hook, left upper. Make sure your feet are wide enough to straddle, speed up the arms. Hook, upper, hook, upper. One more, squat. Now, you have the option of squatting in between or jumping on top. Try a jump, then straddle. Soft knees. Hold, squat. So if you don't jump up, just squat. This time, left hook, slow. Right upper. So get the move. Develop the muscle memory faster. Hook, upper. Jump on or squat. One more. Hold your squat. So, the combination, two hook uppers, jump on, jump off. Hook, upper. Jump on, one more. Left hook, right upper. Jump on, jump off. Right hook, Left upper two times. Jump on. Left hook. Right upper. One more. Jump on. Let's cut this in half. Right hook, right, left upper once. Jump. Left hook. Upper. Jump. One more each side. Right hook. Left upper. Jump. Left hook. Woo. Jump. Shake it off. That's coordination, agility. If you've done my other workouts, I talk about six skills of cardio fitness. First are ABC, agility, balance, coordination. Definitely working that. The other three, P, Q, R, S's. The Q and R are together. Power, anytime you jump. Quick reaction. Anytime you have to do something that forces you to think. S, speed. Fast movement. Come up on top. Hold. Put your right foot a little more in front. So you're turning sideways. Right foot front, left foot in back. Come into a nice little squat. Take the right arm forward, jab. Back arm, cross. Jab, cross. So that's slow motion, definitely working balance. Eventually it'll be coordination and quick reaction and speed. A little faster. Even faster, jab, cross. So there's balance. Keep your knees soft. Jump up and squat down. 
doesn't even need to be big. Could even just be a squat. Jab cross fast. Jump. Jab cross. Jump. So we have four jab crosses. One jump. One more time. Jump. Good. Shake it off. Sometimes we feel the muscles in our feet if we're not used to the bow soup. Step up on top so the left leg is forward. Face sideways. Hands come into defensive position. Slow motion, left jab, right cross. So there's some balance training. Little faster. So there's coordination. Faster, speed, agility, quick reaction. Keep your knees soft. Jump, squat. Notice I'm sticking the landing. Jab cross fast, four times. Jump, one more. Jab cross, one more. So just two. Jab cross, jump, one more. Jump, step off, good. Whew. Sometimes that makes my brain hurt. First of all, you have to think of coordination and agility. But then you have to think about form and staying on top. Step up. Facing forward, hands come to defensive position. Right leg just touches back, left leg touches back. Not a big lunge, just a touch. Speed it up, stay low. If you'd like a little jump up, you can add it. Now, the leg that's going back jabs forward with the arm. Uppers. Good, get into a rhythm that's yours. Alternate jab forward four times. One, two, uppercut four times. Two and two. Woo. Again, jab, jab, upper, upper. Jab, jab. Almost there. One more time. Woo. Shake it off. Ooh, Bosu is so deceiving. Roll the shoulders, take a deep breath. Take it up on top. Find your balance. Touch your right foot side this time. Left foot side, just a touch. A little faster. Bring the hands to defensive. Cross jab. So that's a single. Two on one side, then you're going to switch quickly. Go. Adding that knee lift in between the jabs. Keep the doubles. Now do four on the right side. Four. Four on the left side last time. Woo. Ease out. Good. Shake it off. Keep your head above your heart even if you need to sit or take a break. You can always pause. You can always do things on the ground. Whew. Step behind your bow suit. The next one is called a circle kick with the right leg coming across the body, circling over the bow suit. Squat, left leg. Doesn't matter if it's fully extended, just get over the bow suit. Step up, down, down, right leg up. Squat down and hold. So in a second, I'm gonna combine the circle kick with the up, up, down, down. Left foot up, up, down, down. So that's called the basic, up, up, down, down. Squat. Here's the combination. One circle kick, one basic. Left basic, left circle kick. Right basic, so it changes lead legs. Right kick, left basic. Left kick, right basic. Let's do a few more. Right circle, left basic. Right circle, basic. 
Basic left, left circle, basic right. Hold down, good. That was more agility and coordination. Take your right foot, don't step on it, just barely put the toe on it. Back foot is solid, soft knee, hands in. So you kick, forward, tap, forward, stop. I'm going to add some more motion. It's going to feel more, more like a Charleston. Step up, tap the left foot, down, touch. So I keep my right foot forward, tap, down, tap. On the back, tap instead of a tap, kick, kick. Now that you've got yourself going, give me four more good ones. Go, four, three, two, last one. Ease out. Stick the left toe on the BOSU. Hands to fence, lightweight, just kick, touch. Four more. And in a second, we'll go up into the up tap, down tap. Keeping the left foot in front of you. Step on the left foot, tap the right foot on. Down, touch, get the motion. Then add the forward kick on the left leg. Last one. And ease out. Bring it over so that the right foot toe taps. Tap. So very little weight, exact same motion and movement with a side kick now. Kick, tap. Four more and then we add the up tap, down kick. And we'll go right to it. Step on, touch. Down and side kick. Four more this side. Go, four. Last one, ease out. Bring it down to the other side, left toe is on. Barely any weight, kick out, tap, tap. Kick, tap. Four more and then we step up. Ready? Step up, tap, down, kick. One more this side, go four. Last one, ease out. Now whether you just turn so that your back is to the bosu, or you step in front, I'm gonna turn side. But it's about the back kick now. I don't care which leg you start with, just make sure you do them both. Take your toe, tap, posture up, kick back, then touch the toe. Kick. So the best thing to do on a back kick is to look at the kick. Then you can find your bosu when you come down. Two more. One more. We will not step up and down backwards. Plant your foot. Place the left foot on so you can touch it. Soften the knee kick. First couple are tricky. Got to find your balance. You got four more. Get going there. Four. One more. Ease out. Good. Okay, shake off your legs. Place yourself again in front of the bow so I'll turn sideways. And I don't care which foot you start with, just make sure you do them both. Place one foot on, the back foot on the BOSU. Now that foot is gonna take all your weight. So you want it solid on top with a bend in your knee. Hands, just bring that front foot up. Pushing into the back leg. As you do that, see how many jabs you can get in before you land. Four more times, see how many fast jabs, quick reaction speed. Two more, last one, ease out. Change legs, I'll come over here so you can see this side. Just make sure you do the other side. Flat the foot on top, get the other foot a little more out in front. Soften in, hand center, pull up the front leg, just try. Then add as many jabs as you can. Keep it going. Four more, 
See how many jabs you can get in there. That quick reaction speed. One more. Ease out. Good. Shake it off. Whew. Place your right foot on top. Left foot to the side in a wider position. Go through the movement with me first. So squat, step on, squat off the other side, step on, squat, step on. So this is slow motion sumo squats. Other side, come up, hold. Just little squats on. Now, in a second, you're gonna take this a lot faster where you have a sumo squat on, center squat. Let me say that again. A side squat, squat on, side squat, on. Try it with me. Right squat, left squat, center squat. The arms are called the side block. Right. Left arm, right arm. Now you have this squat in between, that's a back elbow. Side, back elbow, side block. Now I'm gonna give you a couple more if you want more out of it. Jump, on. Whatever you got left, four more. Here's one, this is two. Last time, ease out, good. Whew. Shake off the legs. Roll the shoulders. Keep your head above the heart and just tap your bow suit. We're getting close to the end. The next set of exercises will feel almost like you're in a step class. So if you've ever done any step work, just basic up and down. Knee soft. The move is called a step knee, walk, walk off. Try it with me. So one knee pulls up. When you step off, it changes legs. Find your rhythm, even if it's not my rhythm. Knee strike pulls hands down to the knee, so it's a little more forceful. Good. Now, the next move I'm gonna to transition to without stopping is called a dig step. Instead of lifting the knee, you touch side. It's a flare elbow. Flare. 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 Back to knee lift. Walk, walk. So you're not even stopping to transition. Knee lift becomes a front kick. Front kick through the pelvis. One more. Back to knee. Knee lifts to a block. Knee lifts to a roundhouse kick. So that means a round. If you had a kickboxy bag, it would go around the side. Hamstring curl. You know what this one's going to. Back kick, walk off, lean forward. Four more and I'll give you a little break. Here we go. Four. Three. Two, one, ease out. Whew. Again, all that can be done on the floor. Whew. Center on top. Just breathe. Now march. You're down to your last two standing exercises, and then we'll go seated for some abs. This is one, and then we have another one. Bring it more into a jog. That's too much for you. Keep it a march. Extend the foot to a soccer kick. Bring the hands to center. Just jab with a kick. Whew. Have you got legs left to balance? Last eight counts here. standing exercise that we're going down. Stand up. 
find a focal point. So that's something to look at, whether it's on the floor, out ahead of you, or internal. Go into a squat. This isn't gonna get fast. This is about balance. When you come up from your squat, just lift your right heel each time, same heel. So we're focusing on just one side. If you're ready, lift the foot. If you're never ready, keep it down. If you're ready, kick forward. Same leg, come down into that squat every time. Four more, woo! So you're either lifting heel, just squats, knee lifts or kicks, one more. Step off, just rest. That's a mean one to get at the end. Again, this can be done on the floor if your legs are done. If you want the mostly challenge, step up. Find your focal point squat. These can just stay squats. Squat, lift your left heel. Just start there. It's good to progress on the most and not to go to the hardest move right away. If you're good there, lift your knee. If you're good there, forward kick it. Three more. Two more. One more. Ease out. Good. Woo! We made it. Come down to a kneeling position on the BOSU. If you're sweaty, grab a towel. Make sure you're safe. If I put my toes down behind me, I'm gonna have a lot more balance than if I lift them up. So lifting up is the challenge. Keeping them down, recognize if you need to. Defensive position, jab. Try to lift your toes. You're gonna feel lots of wobbles in your legs. So suck in your core center, your pelvis, your ribs, faster. Every wobble, think of it as work. Take it to a cross jab. Slow down, twist, cross. So focusing just on one side strong. And again, if you need to, put your toes down faster. Slow down other arm, pull, cross. Dis very distinct movement. Now add the speed. Last four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Seated position. This is our final work. We'll finish with some abdominals and then we'll do some stretching. Slide your hips a little more forward so that if you were to go into an abdominal curl, your low back would push against the bosu ball. Defense, down, up, down, up. Stay down, hold, two, three, come up. Down, get that quicker but hold. When you're down, speed back the arms. Speed back. You might find you have a dominant arm that leads your speed back. Try the other arm first. Or don't think about it. Woo. No arms go down. When you come up, jab, jab. Down into center, jab, jab. Down to center, jab, jab, down to center. Speed it up, make it smaller. Jab, 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 jab. Alternate the lead arm. So if you come up with the right arm one time, come up with the left arm the other time. Stay low, hold, hold. Now with this position, just like we did kneeling, bring one arm across, then twist back. So your abs are tight through this whole move, your low back supported by the BOSU ball. Focusing just on that one side, speed it up. Cross, soft elbows, you retract it. Four more, keep it back. Now center up. Come back in, engage. Make sure the chin is over the sternum. 
Take the other arm and cross, jab, rotate. So we're getting some of these oblique muscles with the cross. Stay leaning back, speed it up. Soft elbow retraction when you come out of the cross. Three, two, sit up. Lean back, engage, bring your hands to center. Now take the cross jab and alternate sides. Stay back, abs in tight. Double time faster. Power, cross, cross, cross. Right out from the shoulder. Oh, feeling those abdominals and those obliques. Last eight counts. Eight. Four. Three. Two. Bring it to a speed bag last time. Lift higher. Speed back. Go deeper, speed back, lift up higher, and relax your arms. Roll the shoulders, roll the shoulders. One more. Now if you are on a hard floor for this next one, just be aware as you sit your hips all the way down. Legs in front, soft knees or long legs, bring the arms up. Open the arms, lean back into the Bosu ball. Reach forward and then all the way up and open. Now, if you are supported by the Bosu ball under your neck, go ahead and release your head. If not, scoot a little more forward and feel the support in your head. Shake the tension out of your neck. Let your arms really open up. Reach even higher, and if you feel okay about it, lengthen your legs to straighter. What it's giving here is the abdominals into the psoas, down into the hip flexor, shoulders, open the arms to the side, and chest. Lift up, remember, the ball needs to be under the neck. Open, and lift back up. Well, that is a good one. Bring it all the way up now and sit back on top of the BOSU ball. Place one hand to the side of the ball, the other hand above your head, and then go into your side tilt, pushing away from the hand that's on the ball. So you can actually add a little more range here using the BOSU to stretch. If you'd like even more, take your hand to the floor. Reach the hand to a forward diagonal. Now in kickboxing, most of our punches go forward, so we really need to stretch the chest. But we did do a few back elbows here. Now open the arm up, turn the head. That's the one you really want. Lift up and take the hand to the other side. Start to lean and pull the other hip out. If you'd like a little more stretch, put your hand on the floor. Reach to a forward diagonal. Open the arm and look up. Now kickboxing on a BOSU is a very advanced class. Come up, place your hands behind the BOSU. You can never get enough of this stretch as you open your shoulders and chest. I also want you to think about your biceps. So if you're pushing your hands down into the ball and lengthening your arms, you will get some bicep stretch. So remember, if something was too challenging, rather than just giving up, come back to the workout and do the moves on the floor until you're ready for a BOSU. Cross the arm now and stretch the tricep, pull the shoulder down. If you feel some tightness in the neck, shake it side to side. Switch. Open the legs and press forward with one uh, shoulder. And you can do this with your hands or your elbows. I like to do this with my elbows. Switch sides. Hands to floor, release head. See if you can lengthen your legs a little more and release a little deeper. Lift back up. Cross one foot over the other thigh. You can use your hands for balance or push the chest forward or even use one hand on the leg. And switch sides. 
When something is difficult, BOSU is always challenging. David Weck, the designer of the BOSU, said nobody will ever master the BOSU. It's for the most beginner of beginners to work with, but also will challenge the most advanced athletes. So I never feel like I've completely mastered the BOSU trainer. Step up, which to me is motivating. Rather than discouraging, let it motivate you. One choke goes on the back, and then when you have your balance, pull it up for quadricep stretch. So when something's challenging me, instead of saying, ah, I can't do this, or I'm not strong enough, I say, I'm gonna get strong enough to do this. Motivate, set goals, little baby steps at a time, never get discouraged. Step down, switch sides. Be patient with yourself. Pull that leg up, find the stretch in your quadricep. And to me, half the battle is just starting the workout. So if you made it this far, you are awesome. Step down, take a nice big deep breath in. Exhale, roll the shoulders back. Check out Fitness with Jen Allen for more great workouts. One more deep breath in. Exhale, have a wonderful day. Thanks again for joining me, come back soon.